On today's blog post, I have a guest blogger in my kitchen. His background is as a butcher. He's a wine expert and he is the father and the husband to daughter versus mother. The, how does my thing go? <laughs> he is the daughter, no. He, He's the father <laughs> and the dad of the mother versus daughter. He is the husband and the father of mother versus daughter. Welcome. Well, thank you. I just got hungry and you two food bloggers were too tired to cook. It's my turn to step in as dad and husband to make a good meal for everybody. Dale Marsala in a kitchen like Amy's is going to be a challenge, all right. Okay. So we're going to... We like to not use garlic like this that's in her kitchen. It's already growing. The easiest way to get your garlic out of that skin is to lay the garlic on the block. Put your knife flat on there. Over here we already have onions. Generally we want to use shallots, but tonight we're going to use onions because, well, Amy doesn't have shallots. So we'll just improvise the best we can in this kitchen. Is that any good? This is Amy's blog. So that was a nice trick with the garlic. I like to get a little bit more creative. I like to incorporate rhythm and music in my cooking. So I'm going to take a... What do you call this? A clove of garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic in the bowl. At this rate, dinner will be about 11.30 tonight. Well, it sort of worked. You know, I heard Amy likes to use every dish in the house, so does her mother. I like to do one dish. So measure my rice first, that's a dry item. And then I'm going to measure the water, which is two cups of water and one cup of rice. Next, we're gonna go ahead and sear, sear the veal cutlets, farm fresh eggs. In this case, we're using gluten-free flour and we're going to take and put it in the egg wash. We're going to put it in the flour, medium heat with fresh butter in there. So what's your favorite thing about veal? Veal is just a really sweet uh, young meat. It's baby beef. Didn't you raise baby beef yourself? Yeah, before I was in the meat business I actually grew up on a farm and I raised animals. Did you ever name your cows? Um, I did one. Do you name your beef as you're cooking it? Uh, no. Okay, we just finished browning and searing the uh, veal cutlets. Then I'm gonna deglaze the pan. So I took a little bit of the Marcella wine, poured it in there, and it's just gonna deglaze the pan. And now we're getting ready to do the mushrooms and the onions. I would just like everyone to know that I chopped the mushrooms. These look really good. Um, it's because I did it. We went ahead and created a roux with a little bit of flour and butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, Marcella, organic heavy cream. So whenever you're doing a sauce where you're doing a reduction, you want to make sure that you season or salt it at the very end so it's not too salty. In this pan, we've got the asparagus that Amy did such a great job of chopping the ends off of. And over here we have the rice cooking, which is about a 20-minute project there. So I think it's all going to come together in about another 10 minutes. So as my dad is in the kitchen finishing putting together this lovely meal, I'm just sitting here contemplating food has the power to bring people together. Dad and I had some nice quality time tonight in the kitchen. Mom is in the corner in the living room plotting revenge. It's just a beautiful thing. A little bit of a snafu. We got a little kink in the old plan here. So what happened? Well, you know, <laughs> I've cooked a lot of rice in my life. I'm thinking 30 minutes. Label on the back it said 45. Sometimes you should follow directions, I guess. <laughs> and tell me about your experience cooking in my kitchen. How has it been? Um, actually, not too bad. Now we're ready to plate. Put a little rice on each plate. And now we're going to put the veal. Do you have any final comments you'd like to add? 